Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be analyzing the game between Piers Morgan and Andrew Tate. Okay, in this game, Andrew Tate has the white pieces and Piers Morgan has the black pieces. Apparently, in this game, Andrew Tate had an accuracy of 94%. That's, that's insane. Okay, so let's just hop directly into this game. Andrew Tate starts with d4, Piers Morgan responds with d5. Okay. Andrew Tate plays e4. So this is now the Queen's Gambit. Okay? Queen's Gambit because you're gonna lose that pawn. There's there's nothing defending that pawn at all, okay? But what does Piers Morgan do? Does he take it? Well he doesn't actually take it, he plays e6. So it's Queen's Gambit declined. And then Andrew Tate plays knight to c3. Piers Morgan plays knight to c6. This is this is a Pretty rare move from Piers Morgan, as Chester Combs said, but it's it's not that bad, and the position is looking still equal till now. Now, um, sorry for that. Um, Andrew Tate plays Bishop to f4. Purpose of this is attacking this weak pawn. I mean, it's not that weak, but attacking that pawn, maybe even like push that and then get on from there. What does Piers Morgan do? Uh, Piers Morgan actually plays bishop to b4. Now, with this move, he's pinning Andrew Tate's uh, knight and king. And as you can see, this pawn is defended by this queen. Okay, it's still, it's still defended, so no worries there. Andrew Tate then plays his pawn to e3. Now, you can see that Andrew Tate has a good pawn structure. And now, if uh, Piers decides to take that, Andrew Tate can just take like that. So now this is five moves into the game, and Piers Morgan takes Andrew Tate's knights, hit him, hitting him with a check, but that's that's fine, because which Andrew Tate does. And then an unexpected move, Piers Morgan brings his queen to h4. I, I don't really know why I play that. Well, people in uh, chess.com forums have said that Andrew Tate is clearly not. It's correction, uh, Piers Morgan is the kind of person, player, chess player to bring their queen in front quickly, which is true in this case. But um, any pressure here? Yeah, there is, but not much because it's, it's defended. I mean, yeah. But he might add pressure. Let's see. Um, Andrew Tate responds with capturing that free bishop. I mean, free pawn, sorry, free pawn on c7. Then Piers Morgan plays his knight to f6, opening up his pieces. But as you can see, he cut off his queen's path back in. Well, that was pretty much cut off already, and shouldn't have lost this pawn, honestly. Andrew Tate brings his bishop back to g3, attacking the queen, and then he has Morgan moves it behind. Well, this isn't really a good move because there's so many things you can just like push and attack this while opening up your pieces. It's just not that good of a situation for peers. Andrew Tate, yeah, one of the things to attack the queen, he brings his knight to f3. Piers Morgan responds. I, I thought I was going to move his queen, but okay, never mind. Free queen. I don't think Piers saw this. So Andrew Tate captures it, of course. And then Piers, well, after, after I, if I remember it uh, properly, after like being shocked that he lost his queen, he moves his rook here, defending this pawn. So far, not the best game by Piers. Andrew Tate is still doing a pretty good job. Now with this move, he can uh, take that pawn, create a check, and then probably play that even, like when his queen is there, or even just take with his um, knight, because uh, Piers can move here, let's say uh, Andrew Tate, Andrew takes with that, with the queen, and then Piers can just move here, and then when Andrew checks in like that, yeah. Just come back out. So, uh, 
Piers plays that in front, which um, makes Andrew to move his knight behind. After this, um, Piers plays knight to g4. Okay, knight to g4. So, is it attacking anything? Not, not really. That was not a very, very useful move, especially because that knight was not defending this uh, square, which the queen can infiltrate. Which okay, Andrew doesn't do that yet. Yeah, so just move back. Bishop attacking that knight now. Um, knight take, and Andrew actually takes with each knight and not the pawn. Now that helps create like sustain a good pawn structure, which you want in a chess game. Piers takes that pawn, but as you can see, this pawn is yeah. So Andrew Tate ends up capturing it, and then Piers plays b6. Um, Piers, I mean, sorry, Andrew Tate then castles king side, which is the same side that Piers castles too, and then Piers Morgan plays pawn to g6. Honestly, Andrew Tate could just go with this, and then, uh, sorry, Andrew Tate could go with knight captures. Um, Piers would take, and then Andrew can hit him with a check. Now, the king can't move here, can't move there, so the king would have to move here or here, and then Andrew can just win this knight. Is that what happens? Yeah, and that's actually, is that a great move? I'm not sure, I'd, I still need to understand these lines properly, but as you can see, that's what Andrew does. Piers doesn't actually take, yeah, he, I think he sees the threat doesn't actually take and Andrew defends this pawn now I think he wants to create a pawn push here let's see ooh that was that was a blunder now by Piers he shouldn't have taken and he did and then check 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 and then remember this is a five minute game by the way and then yeah now he gets he gets the knight hitting the check and then Piers just takes the free pawn because you can't really capture it, it's under check and sorry, it's under check. Yeah, so free pawn. This was a blunder by um Piers because moving removing more material he's just removing more material and the rook is already pinned. Uh and Andrew Tate oh um sorry correction. <laughs> Piers is now threatening that, but that's not a big deal when you can do that and then that, and then you're attacking this, which is already pinned. Yeah, so let's see what... I don't know why I didn't see that, sorry. But yeah, um, Piers just gave a rook away for a bishop. He must take with his king in his... Uh, sorry, with his bishop now. Because if he takes with his king, then the rook is... A free piece yeah he takes with his king which is the only viable move sorry yeah i i just completely opposed what i said like 10 seconds back um he should have taken with his he should have taken with his bishop because if you take with your king then you're leaving this rook unmarked sorry i just had a maths exam this morning so my brain is a bit a bit in a mess already yeah, so big blunder by Piers, Andrew takes, and yeah, now Piers, well, before from the start, Piers were just losing big time now. Andrew attacks the bishop, Piers has to move it, attacking this, which is now basically a free, free uh, rook, I mean a rook for a bishop, which Andrew Tate wouldn't really mind, he just hits him with a check, hits him with another check. And then starts moving his pawns in front. Piers moves his king behind, and Andrew continues to push. Now this is actually meet in two. That and then that because the king would have to move here and then yeah, checkmate. Is that what happens? Yeah, big mistake. And yeah, so Andrew Tate defeated Piers Morgan in thirty-three moves in five minutes, while talking about about how they got into chess and everything so 
that was a quick analysis of the game. I just wanted to show you the game because I just thought it was amazing. It was interesting that Andrew Tate got a 94% accuracy while talking about random things to Piers. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.